Hey guys, it's Howard from Calumbred coming back at you. And today we're going to look at the Adnecco and the controls and talk about each knob on the pedal and what they do and how to get different sounds out of this new pedal of ours. So let's get right to it. Meet me on camera two for the pedal. Okay, so here's our new Adnecco. And first we'll hear a clean sound. <laughs> So that's our clean sound, straight into a Princeton reverb, with no reverb on, just dry amp. And I've got the pedal set now to a representative vintage oil can sound. So go ahead and uh, note these settings, and that's a good starting point um, to dial in the Ad Neko. Let's go ahead and hear it. So that's pretty close to a vintage oil can sound. Now, the original units did vary, but that's kind of in the ballpark of it. Uh, you know, I could speed the timing up a little bit. But that's in general ballpark. So go ahead and, and uh, use that as a starting point. And now what we're going to do is uh, go through each knob and talk about what they do. So right over here, we have the blend knob. And that's basically the mix balance between your dry signal and the wet delay signals. So as I turn the knob down, dry signal, and your dry signal is informed by a discrete preamp and you can control the gain with an adjustable trim pot underneath the cover. And as you turn it up, you get more wet and you do get full wet capabilities too. So you're running a two amp rig or, or something or you just want wet only, uh, you can do that. And then here you get, you get a great balance right there of the wet and dry. All right, let's talk about now the timing knob. What's the timing knob? The timing knob informs two different things. And what you want to think about is the idea of a rotating planter inside an oil can. So the faster it rotates, the shorter the delay time, and the faster the warble or the vibrato that the, the, the units would have created. And so that's what we're modeling here. So like I said, this is set to representative vintage oil can sound, but if I go this way, a little reverb there, we'll talk about that later. So that's the shortest delay time and the fastest warble. So that's that oil can spinning on really quick. And then we get here and that's the vintage range. Now we can get delay times longer. So not only is delay time longer, but uh, the vibrato goes slower, just as if the can was going slower. So we we'll go maximum delay time here. So you hear what's going on there? So um, the timing and the viscosity controls kind of go together. Viscosity is, now let's talk about viscosity. Viscosity is, think about the oil in the can. And uh, I fired up one of our vintage units at the shop the other day, and it was kind of a cold day, the office was cold, and the thing was pitch bending like crazy, and it was, you could tell the oil was just like coagulating one side of the can. And after about five minutes, it warmed up and it started becoming like a nice shimmer. So on here, it would be roughly like when it started off in the morning, it was kind of like... It was pretty whack. And then as it warmed up, it kind of got that sweet spot where it sounded like this. Just a nice shimmer. So the viscosity control allows you to control the amount of, of depth of the warble. And... Uh, so that gets pretty dramatic there, but let's, since we have it dramatic here, we can go ahead and sweep through the timing knob again so you can really hear what it's doing. So we've got the cans going slower and slower, and therefore the warble goes slower. So the sweet spot is usually around there, you know, there-ish. 
depends on what you're trying to do musically, but when you turn it off, it's just the slightest of shimmers. And if you want it super subtle that way, and if you want just a nice vibrato, get it up here somewhere. And if you want more crazy, keep going up, and you can kind of hear it going crazier. So that's the viscosity control. Let's talk about the balance control now. Original oil can units had push buttons for short and long uh, delay heads. And what we decided to do was uh, to give a continuous control so you can mix between the two rather than just having it all on or all off. So if you set the knob to noon here, you get shorten delay uh, heads in equal volume. As you go this way, the short head becomes more prominent. And if you go this way, the long head becomes more prominent. See, you hear the difference there? So you can get di different rhythmic potentials uh, from playing with this knob. Now, all the way to the right here is just long head only. And all the way counterclockwise is short head only. And if you're going for more conventional delay sounds, you could do that, but really all the fun with the end echo is getting it somewhere in here and playing with that bounce. I kind of like this setting a lot right here myself. So that's the balance knob. You get to uh, go between the short and long heads. Now let's talk about the reverb knob. The reverb knob controls basically the regeneration of the echo sounds to create the reverb, because that's it's not a separate circuit or a separate uh, sound. So if I turn the reverb off, you get no regeneration. Uh, you just get the repeats. And as you get it up here. So my tip for setting this is as you turn it up, it'll start being on the verge of self-oscillation. And what I like to do is, and to get the most authentic old oil can sound, get it so it's right at the verge of taking off, it doesn't quite take off. I'm going to get away with a little bit more here. So that's the reverb control, and my tip on that is uh, to set the viscosity, timing, and balance controls, and then after that, set the reverb control, because uh, depending on how you have these three knobs set, it affects how the regeneration works. So go ahead and set these up to your liking, and then download that reverb right where it's at the verge of oscillation. And you'll get the most authentic vibe from it. Now, of course, you can turn the timing or uh, the reverb all the way up, and it will take off and start doing that. Turn the mix down. So it does do that, too, if you just want to make some sounds. But, you know, if you're playing through it, then kind of do that. So that's pretty much it. Uh, under the hood, you have true bypass or trail switch. You, right now, it's at the true bypass. And you also got control over the preamp gain with a trim pot in there. So you can set it up how you want. We've got our juicy little discrete preamp going here. And uh, it's very dynamic, so you can play soft. And it'll respond to it. You can play hard and it'll respond to it. So that, in a nutshell, is our new N Echo and the control surface for it. So we'll see you next time, and uh, give us a comment below. Let us know what your thoughts are. Punch that like button, and then we'll see you next week. All right. Peace out.